Good morning, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. You've tuned into the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre. We're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Neural Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down, check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Neural Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Neural Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Neural Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. Big shout out to Noral Toyota. Thank you for your ongoing support. We really do appreciate it. As everybody at home knows, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So sir, can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Uh, I'm Vaughn Slagowski. I'm originally from Saskatchewan. I've been here in Fort Mac for a long time, since 1990. Oh. and. Uh, Got a family, two kids I'm very proud of. Proud of my wife. She grew up here. I've been with her for 20 years. And we've been married for, we got married in 06, so that would be 14 years, I think. Oh, look at you in math. I can't figure it out. You've been Well, I don't, you know, <laughs> if we go over this, it's probably done in, incorrectly. But That's right. Yeah, and so I've been here since 1990, and I love this place. Well, nice, Great man. Yeah. And now, we met here at Thickwood Barbershop a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago now. So mm -hmm. how long have you been coming into the barbershop for? Ali, how long have I been coming here? Since he opened, 13 years. Wow. I came, the first time I came here, he was... Uh, he was by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I come in and been coming back ever since. So how did you hear about this first off? You know what? I was just in the neighborhood and I saw a new barbershop. At yeah. that time, I used to kind of go everywhere for whatever reason. That's right. And uh, yeah, I checked this place, this place, and I came in here and yeah, yeah, I never looked back. No. Yeah. That was kind of like mine. I was going everywhere around town. I had like really long hair at the time. Yeah, and you've had a few different looks. Oh yeah, me and Ali even had a lot of fun with my hair and my beard and stuff. And I had a buddy and I was just like, man, you got sick hair. Who cuts your hair? He's like, oh, you don't know about Ali and Thicker Barbershop? He's just like, no, I don't know about Ali. And he's like, just go into Thicker Barbershop. Ask for Ali and then you'll never look back. Yeah. And I mean, that was it. And it's growing and he's got so many guys and uh, yeah. Everybody I send here, they always come back happy. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's a good place. You, you came from Saskatchewan. What was the pull for you here? Was it something you studied in school? You knew about the oil sands? Uh, or? Not exactly. Uh, man, I lived in Saskatoon, and I was doing any kind of job to stay there because I liked Saskatoon. I didn't yeah. want to come here. Yeah. And I had a few friends that were working up here, and basically they got me a job here. Right. So I came up. I had a job before I got here. Right. And I started in April of 90, working yeah. for a contractor on Sinku base site right right it was yeah. the only one that was there yeah and yeah i just worked for contractors and in 2000 i got hired by suncor okay so i've been with suncor ever since yeah and yeah uh started a family my boys are 11 and 14. okay so yeah they're the pride of my life and no you know sometimes they uh they're kids right yeah. so <laughs> They test you. Yeah, they do. Uh, they've got a great mother. I mean, I met her. She grew up in this town. Yeah, you were telling me that. And uh, yeah, she's just been, she holds everything together. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, no doubt. But yeah, so it's been, it's, it's been good. good. We like it here. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So today's the last day of school for the boys. Well, for one of them, anyways. For the well, and, and so the oldest one wrote his last test yesterday, and the youngest one had a last day today. Yeah. So last night he wasn't going to go. Today he said he wanted to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, sorry, when he got up. Then yeah. he got up to go, and then he flipped the coin. Yeah. And uh, he ended up staying home. Okay. So they're both done. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. It's one of those things, like this whole week, like it's my little guy's last day of school, so they've been like going to church, doing the swimming, going to Heritage Park. Like it's a fun last week 
you know? Yeah, oh yeah. But like, it's an emotional thing in regards to like, you don't want to go, you want to go. Like, you're sad to leave your friends, but hey, it's summer coming up. Like, yeah. there's a whole bunch of oh, things yeah, going, you know? Yeah. yeah, and it's so different, the two kids, like yeah. the 14 year old, you know, they just write their test and they leave That's and, right. uh, you know, well, they're different in every That's aspect. Right. Yeah. And yeah, he wanted to, go, the youngest wanted to go today because the grade sixes walk out on the red carpet because they're on their way to high yeah, school. Yeah, 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 the graduation. So program. he yeah. wanted to see that, but yeah, I guess he changed his mind. He'll yeah. be doing that next year. Oh, so he's in grade five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fun. My little guy is in grade three, growing into grade four now. Oh yeah. So they're yeah, it's, it's awesome. But like you said, they test you sometimes. Well, <laughs> it, well, it's funny too because, like, the fourteen-year-old, we've seen all of these things, and right. so now the eleven-year-old. Yeah. He's going to start to go through. Yeah. And it's uh, it's a lot more challenging when they're getting to this age, like the 14-year-old. And the last year, he's changed so much, like, yeah. mature-wise yeah. and, you know, he's like, turning into a young man. Yeah, that's exactly it. And so the 11-year-old, you know, you, you start noticing things mm -hmm. you kind of forgot. And you're right. like, oh, remember that, remember that. Right. And so... You know, I'm sure everybody does their best, and yeah. they're pretty good kids. That's awesome. So, what do yeah. you guys got planned for the summer? Well, I just got off my last night shift yesterday morning. Okay. And I don't go back to work till August 9. So I got a good summer happening. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we have to go to a funeral next week. That's unfortunate. So that's, to hear that. and then after that, I have two sets off and. We go to BC. My okay. father-in-law, Dan, he lives in Vernon. Okay. And Okanagan is just, I mean. Nice. I want to live there someday, but yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'll be able to afford yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. You better so yeah, get we're that gonna, OT in. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. So we go for a couple of weeks. Uh, Peyton, my oldest boy, he does like hockey camps and stuff. Okay. And we have a boat. We go out on the lakes. And, nice. I mean, it's just so nice there. So yeah. So that's your whole summer's going to be out there then. No, we'll park. go there for roughly two weeks. Yeah. Um, my mom lives in Saskatoon. Okay. So we'll come back. My wife will have to work. Yeah. And I'll take the boys to Saskatoon for about a week. Okay. Then we'll come back, and I think I still have a few days off, and they start all the hockey camps for right competitive hockey and. That gets going in August. Yeah, yeah. It seems like it's going year round, that's really. That's right, that's right. So yeah, so we'll come back to do that. And then uh, August 19th, I think it is, we go back to Saskatoon for a wedding. Okay. But it, it'll just be a quick trip and... Uh, Are you driving or flying to all these? Like you, for Vernon, you drive. gotta be driving. Yeah, and, and Saskatoon's only about eight or nine hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of driving. Okay. What kind of vehicle but, are you driving with all these people? Well, I've got a Sequoia, Toyota Sequoia, nice. and it pulls a boat, so. Nice. So yeah, it's, uh, in the hard going, you're filling up like mm. every two and a half to three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it gets the job done. And, That's right. So, what year? Uh, the Sequoia is yeah. a 19. 1919? Or 2019? Yeah. Oh, it's a 1919 Sequoia. Uh, 1919, yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful <laughs> vehicle you have. They are, and you know what? We had a 2010. Did you yeah. say that Toyota... Yeah, Norrell. Big Norrell. shout out to Keith, Keith and Nimmer. So Keith sent, sold us the 2010 Sequoia. Yeah, yeah. We have a 2016 Highlander yeah, that yeah. Keith sold us. Yeah. But I got a really good deal on this 2019. Yeah. And yeah, I didn't shop around for a different brand. Yeah. I shopped yeah. around, but they're great there. You yeah. Know? They yeah. called me and said, hey, you got all this warranty? And I'm thinking, yeah. I didn't even buy it from them, but okay. they're like, no, listen, if you don't use this, you're going to lose it. Yeah. So they're great. Yeah. Keith's great. It's, it's a good place. Well, that's so. awesome, man. Yeah. So with your kids playing all this hockey, is that something you were into when you were a kid? Uh, yeah. Um, he was probably better than I was uh, at my best when he was 12. Yeah. But I did go out on the ice and shoot the pucks around. and So yeah, the oldest boy is pretty competitive, and he plays in... They call it elite hockey. There's like double A and single A. That's right. And he's played in single A the last couple of years. So yeah, yeah, he loves it. He'd play every day if he could. Yeah. No right, doubt. right now in town, uh, Max McCoy, who just finished yes. playing with we the Bears. We interviewed Max a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So he put on uh, the on season. It's called. Okay. And so it's uh, four on four. Yeah. But he, 
he's doing like half ice. Right. So everybody's like, but it was a great idea because three on three or four on four on a full ice, mm -hmm. it's just wide open. That's right. And don't get me wrong, this is wide open, but they're having to learn to yeah. stick handle and traffic yeah. and yeah. finesse. So yeah, yeah, it's been good every night. Peyton has played. He's had a great time. And That's so, awesome, man. So, yeah, it's cool. been a lot of fun. Well, listen, we're going to throw to a quick ad from Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Carrie, take it away. Hi, it's Carrie with Patchouli Rose Herbal Apothecary. I know our summer is coming quickly to an end. Um, and during the summer, we always think of applying our sunscreen. But sunscreen is a product that we should be using every day of the year to protect our skin against harmful UVA and UVB rays also against premature aging. I have a product called Dandelion Harvest, which is moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and is great for anti-aging. You can use this every day of the year, and it's very moisturizing. If you want to check this product and any of my other products out, please go to patchoulirose.com. And we are back. Thank you, Carrie. We really do appreciate that. Tanner gave me a flash, so we are getting close to out of time, but I'm having, enjoying this conversation, so we're not gonna cut it short. Okay. So, at site, what do you do? I'm a oh, shovel okay. operator. Okay. You gotta go? No, 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 I had to put my knee down, because Tanner told me, don't, oh. don't put your knee up, I'll be blocking that camera. <laughs> You're a uh, shovel operator. Is that, yeah. so, is that something, like when you came out here, I have to assume, like you didn't go to school to be a shovel operator, you started with some f or other form of trade and then just transitioned into that. I'll tell you how, uh, how I was thought of before I came up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend said I looked funny driving a pickup truck. Okay. So the last place anyone thought I would be is here, but you're looking for work and yeah. it worked out just great. Yeah. And when I got hired, they expanded really fast. Right. Like now, if you get hired, you're on a truck for a few years or whatever. That's right. And, uh, but yeah, they, I think four and a half years or five, I was on a shovel. Okay. And I still switch back and forth, but yeah, yeah, I'm on there. And so, I mean, it's been great. You know, everybody complains every now and then, but yeah. we, we've got a good job. It's been secure through all this, yeah. all the ups and downs and yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And you're at Suncor uh, base plant, you said? Uh, well, no, I started. Uh, when I started working in Fort Mac, I was at Syncrude Syncru Base Plant. Okay. Because there's Aurora now. Back then, there was only That's right. just yeah. the one site, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, at Suncor, I, uh, yeah, it's expanded so much since yeah. I started. Oh, no, definitely. And, and you yeah. were here back, like, you've seen a lot of the growth of Fort McMurray as well over oh. the years. So, I was here in 90. Yeah. And it's so crazy, you kind of, you almost forget what it used to look like. That's right. Completely. You know, yeah. like, but uh, yeah, I mean, hey, we'd like to be living in the Okanagan or, but I was here for probably about 10 years and I did a contractor job. So the, the shift was crazy, working yeah. all the time. You'd get on days off, would you find another job? No, you would mope around. Yeah. And then after a while, I just decided yeah. How I started to dislike the town because yeah. I wasn't doing anything. That's right. And so yeah, then I started trying to get on with Suncor. Yeah. And I got on with Clemke for a while, and yeah. I got a job with Suncor. And I mean, I don't plan on leaving until I retire. That's it's, awesome. It's man. a good town and good opportunity. Our kids get to do whatever they want. That's awesome. So you know, everybody's going to complain. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, listen, we've went over, so now we're going to cut it off. But before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. So we have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. To anybody? Anybody, anything. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you do your shameless shout out, it looks like we're bringing something in. There we go. So we heard it was your birthday here. So Allie and the boys at Thicker Barbershop brought you a cake to say happy birthday. What a great day. What a great place this place is. Yeah, so happy birthday, my man. Thank you very much. I'm not going to ask you about your wishes because we got no candles. But uh, uh, they, yeah. I guess they ran out when there they started go. buying them. <laughs> we got some here. I don't know if we have enough, though, but we'll make do. No. Well, cool. 33, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. That's young. But yeah, if I get to do a shout out. You get a uh, shout out right now, yeah. Uh, I don't know who's all going to see this. The world. The world. Yeah. Say hi to my mom. My sister, who just got home from Russia last night. Oh. She was there for 10 years. Okay. 
Peyton, my oldest boy, Declan, my youngest boy, and of course my wife, Jamie, who saved my life. I was going nowhere fast, and I met her, and now I got a family. And uh, the only issue with uh, having a younger wife yeah. is that sometimes my sons mistakenly call me grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's all good. There Thanks. Thanks, awesome. Elliot, for doing that this. Awesome. No worries. And thanks, do it again. thanks the barbershop here, Ali and everybody. And there you go. Awesome. Thanks. Well, for McMurray with Buffalo, the rest of the world, that's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for tuning in. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Neural Toyota, as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Thank you both for your ongoing support. Hope everybody at home is having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?